guys, it's Mega Horse Girl 2000. Sorry it's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm back today with a Spring Collective haul. Now these things were bought over a period of time, so for some of the items I may mention giving them to Nutmeg. This was before she passed, but I thought that I would include them in there regardless. So enjoy the video! Alright, so the first item that we got was some new gerbil food. And we weren't able to find Jerry Gerbil anymore online. So we are going to try this, and it's called Brown's Tropical Carnival. And I've heard that it's a pretty decent food for gerbils. So I hope Nutmeg enjoys it. And next we bought some Egotrition Cheesy Chews. And Nutmeg loves these. But they I can't find them at Walmart anymore. And they're usually really overpriced. But I managed to snag these from wag.com. And I think they were like $2.50, which I thought was an okay deal. So she will be nomming down on these, I'm sure. I stocked up on the hay we use for the pigs, which is oxbow orchard grass. And I think this is a lot softer and greener than Timothy. And the guinea pigs like it more too. So I bought two bags of it. And they are already halfway done with the first bag. And this was also from WAG.com. Yup, guilty as charged. I bought the Petco Cupcake Wood Chew. We were popping into Petco just to look around because we had some time to kill. And then I saw these for $1.98. And it was the last package left, so I mean, I couldn't just leave them. And I'm super excited to include these in my next cupcake theme that I do. I already have a video on my cupcake cage tour if you'd like to go check it out. But also, I think these things are clearance because Petco is getting rid of all their cute wood shoes. So if anyone has any info about that, please let me know. I am super excited because my cage miners came in from Valerie's Zoo. She's on YouTube and has an Etsy store. And I decided to order two 2x1 two uh, CNC cage liners because I have a lot of fleece from when I had a 2x4 CNC cage that is too small for my current cage but I still want to use it. So I thought I would purchase some matching liners to spice the cage up a bit. So the colors that I have chosen, the first one is a light pink color and then a light purple color. It is coming out a lot there we go. It is a really pastel purple, and I have a lot of pink and purple fleece, so I think that will look great. And my other liner is on one side this kind of seafoam minty green color, which is super pretty. And then we also have a pastel blue with polka dots. And I have a green polka dot fleece that I thought would go really well with that. So she did make the liners a few inches big because she said they shrink, which I'm excited about because no one likes too small fleece. And the last item in my haul are these Winnie's cookies. And these are horse treats, as you can see. Now, I actually got a free sample for these if you go on their website which I'll put in the description box, there's an option where you can get a free sample and you don't even have to pay shipping. So I couldn't resist trying out these treats. And as you can see, you get six and they're pretty good sized cookies. And then on the brochure, they work like a supplement and taste like a treat. And if you were curious, here are the ingredients. They're great because they're super good for horses too and I'm sure all the pones will really enjoy them. And that's everything I've bought recently. Hope you guys enjoy, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!